Manindri Appa Kanda from Girls High School, Candy. My chosen topic for this project is Magnetic Field Effect on Plant Growth. Agriculture must move forward with modern technology. Therefore, we need to find methods and add new technology to a crop to make it more productive. So, this project was intended to explore how plants grow under the influence of a magnetic field. The ultimate result of that experiment is questioned here. There are two main objectives of this project. Examine the impact of the magnetic field effect on agriculture and the other one is exploring to get more productive yields. Observing the growth of two plants, allowing them to grow in a magnetic field and leaving another two plants to grow normally is the methodology I use for my project. Observation and my data collection I had a few questions before I started this project. The first question was what plant I am going to use. After many thoughts, I found the perfect plant for my project, the black eyed pea, which is commonly known as cow pea. I have inserted the data I collected in 14 days time. And the next question was where I should plant my peas. I chose two glasses to plant the peas, as shown in the picture. I planted two plants in each glass and named each plant as A and B because it's easy for me to observe the plant growth quickly. Class number 1 represents the plants that have grown under the magnetic field effect and class number 2 represents the plants that have grown naturally. When I talk about the time duration of my project, it took 2 days to gather all the resources I needed. I took 12 wetted peas and wrapped 6 each in wet paper serviette separately. I put one pack aside and I placed the other one in the middle of strong magnets. So for 4 days I kept the two packs separately to cut bonds. After 4 days I planted the most fertilely grown two peas from each pack in glasses. Before I put the magnetically affected peas to the glass, I put some strong magnets to the soil and planted them. So now let's see how the plants have grown under these conditions. I made a plant growth chart to see the growth more clearly. This is the chart of the germination system. Blue color shows the magnetically affected plants and orange color shows the naturally grown plants. As you can see the germination system's height of the magnetically affected plant is shorter than the normally grown plant. Now we can take a look at the length of the root system of these plants. We can see the root system's length of the magnetically affected plant is longer than the normally grown plant. Is there any use of letting a crop to grow in the effect of a magnetic field? Let's consider this matter more deeply. If you observe these pictures closely, you can see the difference between these plants. Magnetically affected plants' leaves are thicker and darker, but the naturally grown plants' leaves are not that thicker nor got a darker color than the other plant. And speaking of roots, you can see the magnetically affected plant's root system is more stronger and has been spread all over the space. But the naturally grown root system hasn't spread like that. So in conclusion, we can say that the natural plant has grown taller and thinner, but the magnetically affected plant has grown shorter and heavier. 
quality of the magnetically affected plant is better than the naturally grown one. And at last, I can say that the quality of a magnetically affected plant is outsized than the quantity of that plant. So in the end, the consideration of this data suggests that magnets can be used to create high quality crops and you can gather a gigantic amount of yields. And thank you for watching.